Merry Christmas, YouTube. It is still a Junkie 07. Yes, it is still a Junkie 07. Today is Friday, September 6th, 2013. Um, I was just sitting here playing in my makeup. And so this is like the first <laughs> eyeshadow I've worn in a while. I have worn um, some of the Inglot pigments, but I was sitting here going through my stuff and I said, let me just do something because I just needed to de-stress because I was going through some things. But, so then I said, I'll just do a video and let you not, let you guys know what I have on. I haven't done a video in forever, I know. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you to my new subscribers. So what I did was prime my eye with Bare Minerals Prime Time Eyelid Primer. This was um, little things from Sigma. Like when I ordered their brushes, they sent me these um, eyeshadows. And so I took Flair and use this um, in my crease. This is like a really great transition color for me. I really like this color. So I used this in my crease. I didn't put anything for highlight. And then I took Shine and I put this on the lid. And I, I do like the color, but the, the particles in it make me nervous because I'm a contact lens wearer. And so I'll probably give this away and opt to just use my Stila Black Cat, which is black shadow so that's the two shadows I used and I do really like this look I experimented with the Lorac front of the line pro liquid liner <laughs> and I have always been horrible with liquid liner but this was actually really easy and I really enjoyed using it and I even actually did a little wing with it I'm really digging this it shocked even me because liquid liner and me don't get along but the Lorac what did I call it? Front of the line pro eyeliner. I really dig it. Um, on my <laughs> inner tear duct area, I have everything in front of me. I'm like, what did I do? I used an Inglot Soft Precision Eyeliner number 33. And I only put it right here in my tear duct area. A little bit up here and then down here at the bottom. So that's what I did with that to try this out. And I used there number 41 underneath my lower lash line I didn't put on any mascara because I was just playing around I'm gonna wash it off um, my lower and upper water line I used the buxom inside eyeliner and onyx this is the black one Us usually usually excuse me I used the blue but I they had a sale or something or like a set and that's how I ended up with the black one and so I used this on my waterline. Played around with my lips. I lined them with Max Current Lip Liner. In lipstick, I used two different, three different lipsticks. Inglot number 241. And just in the center of my lips, I used Inglot number. 241 so I just put it here at the bottom and around my cupid's bow area then because I have never used it yet at all and I had it since they came out was the Mac gray Friday <laughs> and so I just put that in the corners to do almost like an ombre look but not like a dramatic one and then in the center of my lip I used the Inglot AMC lip gloss number four I'm sorry number 543 and this I only placed where I placed that light um, Inglot lipstick and so that's what I did with that and so that's the eyeshadow that's the lips um, I have on foundation and powder from earlier but I'm sure it probably wore off because I'm looking and I'm looking kind of dark under here oh my chin Oh, okay. I'm going to do it like this. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. And I do really want to um, use my makeup. But like when I get up in the morning, I have just enough time to get dressed. I haven't been doing much to my face. But like just using two eyeshadows, I'm digging how those colors blended together. So this is something I would do. I just probably wouldn't use the shine because it scares me because of 
the particles in it and there was a little fallout so i'm just concerned with it falling out into my eyes but thanks for watching guys um i'll take pictures if they come out okay i'll post them if not then i won't but thank you for watching